Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to machine learning and AI tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to install and test a locally Deep Coder. Deep Coder is a fully open source 14 billion parameter coder at OpenAI O3 mini level. And a nice thing about this um, large language model is that it comes in two flavors. It comes in 14 billion parameters and in 1.5 billion parameters. This small model having only 1.5 billion parameters is ideal, for example, for Raspberry Pi or similar computer with limited resources, or you can even run it on a CPU. In this video tutorial, I'm going to install 14 billion parameter model. By the end of this video tutorial, you will be able to run DeepCoder by using the simple graphics user interface. Namely, over here, I'm using OpenWebUI and in the back end, I'm running DeepCoder by using Olama. And over here, you can see the code that's being generated. Here is the question being asked. And then you can copy and paste this code and execute it in Python. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to install DeepCoder on a Linux Ubuntu computer. So let's start immediately. First of all, open a terminal. And before you install anything on Linux Ubuntu, you need to update and upgrade everything. You can do it by running these two commands as a single command and enter your password and wait until these two commands are executed. Next, I need to install curl. I need curl since I want to install Olama. I will be using Olama in order to run it in the background as a graphic user interface. I'm going to use Open Web UI. This will be explained later on in this tutorial. Let's verify that curl is properly installed by running this command and you can see something like this. This means that the curl is installed. Next, go to the Olama website. Here it is. Then over here, click on download, select your operating system, in my case Linux, and click here to generate the installation command, then go over here and paste the installation command. And this will install Olama. After we install Olama, we need to pull or to download the deep coder model. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, then at the end you should see something like this. This means that Olama has properly recognized your GPU. Next, we need to find the model. To find the model, go to the Olama website and search for deep coder. And here you need to find deep coder repository and then you need to copy this command. However, my suggestion is to double check that is to click over here, then copy this command, go back to the terminal and over here paste the command. However, change run to pull. This will only download the model without running it and consequently be patient since as you can see over here the model is around 9 gigabytes and it's going to take a while to download the model. After the model is downloaded you should see something like this. Next type Olama list to list the model and let's test the model from this terminal. To do that you need to type Olama and then run and then you just need to specify the name of the model. And let's see over here what's happening. Will the model be executed on my GPU? And here it is. I'm having NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24 gigabyte of VRAM. So let's ask a question. Write a code that will, for example, sort an array. This is super easy problem. I mean, this is just for a test. Now, uh, you see what is happening. I didn't specify a bunch of things over here. I didn't specify the programming language. I didn't specify Python. But anyway, you can see that it's basically giving you a Python code. And here it is. Wow, it's really amazing. I'm going to press Control C to stop this. So this thing is working. And let's exit um, the model by pressing Control D. The next step is to create a graphics user interface for running this model. This is super easy by using OpenWebUI. First, let's go to the home folder by typing this and then over here let's create a folder for 
test web UI and then let's navigate to that folder. So you just can write something like this and then we are here and over here we need to do several things. First of all, we need to install this command for creating Python virtual environments. And note over here that I'm running Python 3.12 on my machine. You can verify your Python version by typing like this, something like this or Python 3 and then you can see the version. If you're using some other version then instead of for example over here 3.12 you need to write your Python version. Next let's create a Python virtual environment. We can do it like this and then after that we will activate the Python virtual environment like this. And then finally we will install OpenWebUI by running this command and here you need to be patient since this command might take a while. After that we just need to run OpenWebUI and magic will happen. OpenWebUI will automatically recognize all installed Olama models. And after OpenWebUI is installed, we will simply run it by running this command. And let's see what will happen. You just need to wait for a while since several things need to be installed. And you will see a message and we will be able to run it. So just let's wait for a while for things to complete. Then open your web browser and your web browser enter this address over here and click on get started over here you can enter your mail your email and password you can for example set your password and you create administrator account this is a local administrator account and you're logged in and then you can simply okay let's go you will see over here if you click the deep coder is automatically being recognized however you can click once more and let's ask a question right a code that will simulate a dynamical system for example in Python. So let's see how this thing will work and now it's running in real time we can see over here the response. Now here I gave a relatively complex problem which is basically mainly uh, related to physics dynamical systems, control engineering, etc. So let's see the results. Okay, so this makes sense. Hmm, really nice. Good. Okay, so let's see the response and let's see if all this makes sense. We have the initial condition, you have the growth rate, we have the number of parameters, and then over here you can see generated time series, which is a kind of similar thing to a state space model and here you're plotting the response etc so it makes sense good okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial